Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Brian Boyle from Brian Boyle Music and the Producers Forum, picking back up where we left off with the last video and building a beat with the workspace. Um, the next thing we're going to do is add a virtual instrument, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in Pro Tools. So let's get started. So I've got my beat here, it's only two bars long, and um, we want to add a virtual instrument. So before we do that, we want to give ourselves plenty of space to play. Um, so I'm going to highlight up here with this bar, which highlights all the tracks, and hit Command D to duplicate it. Uh, you can see that duplicates it. Now it's a total of four bars in length. And I'm just going to do this a couple times to give myself plenty of time. We've got a full 30 seconds here, you can see, uh, with the timer. So I think that should be plenty. If you're wondering why my screen looks like this and why I've got a beat pre-made already, it's because it's from the previous video, uh, Building a Beat with the Workspace. Feel free to check it out if you would like to follow along. All of the drum sounds are included in a link in the video's information. Feel free to just click on that and it should start downloading to your computer. So the next thing we want to do is actually add a virtual instrument. I'm going to click on my symbol down here because I want to add the virtual instrument underneath. Um, so I'm going to go to Track, New, Create One Stereo Instrument Track. Okay, so we've created an instrument track, but we haven't added an instrument plugin yet. Uh, well, remember, we created a stereo track, so we're going to add a plugin here, which I have on my. I can add a plugin here on my edit window, or if you don't have that set up that way, you can switch to your mix and come up here to your inserts. I'm going to insert a multi channel plugin and make it an instrument. I'm going to choose Expand, which comes default with Pro Tools, so that everybody can follow along. OK, so now we've got Expand open. And uh, this is our virtual instruments interface here. I'm going to switch back to the Edit window. Move this up a little bit. And this is where we're going to be recording our MIDI on this track here, our expand track, which I'll rename to expand. Um, I want to create a pad because we've got sort of a house beat going here. Um, and I also want to apply some sidechain compression, which we'll tackle in the next video. I'll show you exactly how to do that. But in the meantime, let's just create a pad. Uh, I'm going to create a soft pad because I want to duck it later on. and. Um, uh, what, what should we use? How about um, some synth strings here? I'm going to prime to record here, prime to record here, and when I hit play and my keyboard is on, it should trigger our virtual instrument. So let's see, we should hear some synth strings. Simple two chord progression, you chose C minor to G minor, um, I think it sounds kind of cool. I'm going to pull up the event operations here by hitting option zero, uh, clicking on this and applying a quantization to the MIDI so that way I know it's played perfectly in time. I'm going to trim that region down and let's listen to that back. All right, so let's take a listen to our beat with our virtual instrument that we created. All right, sounds great. Um, now, the only thing is we don't want to leave this in MIDI. We want to be able to control the audio and look at the waveforms just like all these other tracks. So what we're going to do is come up to Track and create a new stereo audio track. We're going to use this stereo audio track as the input for your virtual instrument. So you're going to bust the sound of your virtual instrument 
out to your stereo audio track. What this is going to do is it's going to transfer your sound from a MIDI file to an actual stereo audio file like the rest of the, like the, rest of the tracks you see up here. So what we're going to do to send the audio from your MIDI track to your audio track is change the output of the MIDI track or your virtual instrument to bus 1, 2. We're then going to change the input of the audio track to the same corresponding bus. In this case we chose bus 1, 2. Now the audio is coming out of expand and into this bus. So if I hit record and hit record here, it's going to record the strings from expand onto this stereo audio track. Let's check it out. All right, awesome. So instead of just having plain old MIDI uh, sequencing here, we've actually got it transferred into an audio track. So uh, the disadvantage is we can no longer edit the way this sounds. Um, however, it is fully controllable in terms of EQ, compression, and other things. So um, all right, so that's how you transfer your MIDI into actual audio tracks. Um, by using the buses within Pro Tools and sending that information to a new track. Once it's in a stereo audio track, you can do other things like add EQ, compression, uh, and effects. And in the next video, I'll be showing you exactly how to apply sidechain compression to a pad to give that ducking or pumping sound that's popular in many current recordings. All right, everybody, that's it for this video on virtual instruments. I hope you learned how to create one, uh, record some MIDI, and then bust that MIDI to a stereo audio track for mixing later in the process. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter at Brian Boyle Music. And stop by brianboylemusic.com for all the latest videos and Pro Tools tutorials. Thanks again for watching and keep on making music.